Jaw. That's not a very southern name. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. What do you do? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? You have a piggy nose. I learned Clementine is a first grader. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Commercial here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. Oh, I what want is her to it live that now. you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Go veterinarians. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Uh-huh. Oh, whoops. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. You're a veterinarian, I want to woman. Go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Don't tell Families me. and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? Beer. With those gone, what's the point? Without beer. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Gonna go get a beer. I feel safe with two veterinarians. I mean, he's a horse vet and they're a special breed. Any horse vets watching, disregard that statement. <laughs> she is now my favorite character. He's even from Florida. Mm, uh, okay. Let's go this way. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. I didn't break in. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Why don't you trust me? Then at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! My priority is to save her. 
I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, he tried to save me. I know, son. I... Uh... Now shoot him. See, he had way more value than a dipshit kid. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back. Didn't shift blame. You owe me. Take the dog and cat veterinarian. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah. Herschel, you better shoot him. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Douglas Fox. So Macon's normal. Eh. Look! Dipshit kid. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, Kenny. Fuck! Oh, Kenny. We're trapped! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Standing right here. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Bet you would. Then just go! Oops. They've got kids, Lily. 
Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. That was a very aggressive Holy compliment. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. That's a lot of shit. We have to end this now. Okay. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody's <laughs> doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. What? Uh, that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? <laughs> what other choice is there? Finally, someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing him out now. I'm sorry, Kitty. He's right. <laughs> Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy. We can't. No, he's not bitten. Look, look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. We better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. All right. God damn it, Lee. I'm pressing as hard as I can. Man. Lily? No. You okay? No, you're purple. Who are you? Just great, thanks. Sorry I offered to throw the boy out, but it's made the most sense. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. 
We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Okay. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily Keep a good Larry. eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Doug. Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. What? Now get him those pills. Lily, Larry, Doug, who doesn't seem very important to me. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Thank you for your witty two cents. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yay. Nom. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We'll sit tight. Okay. How, how do I... Can I not give her the candy bar? Ah, there we go. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I'm a good surrogate. Another energy bar! <laughs> How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. We got that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything. And Duck could have been bitten. Sure. I guess. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Candy bar. <laughs> She's gonna walk around and give everyone candy bars. Oh, another candy bar! I'm awesome. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. Yeah, I am, of course. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. I don't need to get that medicine, it's fine. <laughs> Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. I should play rough. the dick route. <laughs> I killed that boy. 
We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Candy bar? Candy bar. Okay, let's actually go this way. 